We built a little town right here, and then we yeah. moved to the back because production got bigger. Yeah. Right. So, so no, it's, I want to know what it's done for you guys All because. Right. Mr. Carr, McCluck, my stuck It's okay. Lawrence, uh, would you be an involved in the Explorer Post? What is it? What did you learn from that post? I mean, give us a detailed description of what it did for you. It basically broadened my horizons a bit. Like, really, the it, being in the Explorer Post has given me so many opportunities, one after another after like another. What? Give me an example. Like, uh, for example, um, the, the plays we did. It made me a much better actor. Oh. For it, okay. And yeah, you've for, done a feature film, Lawrence. Yeah, I've done a feature film. So oh, has Diego. The skills so you got acting me. skills from it? Yeah, I got acting skills from it. Even though I completely flubbed up on so many of the stunts. Well, but it, it wasn't all about stunts either. Yeah. It was just part of the training yeah. to, to, to build your skills up. Right. Motor skills, besides yeah. just you, voice, you want physical skills too. Yeah. Because in some situations, you might get picked in a movie and they might ask you, Hey, can you do this stunt? And you know, first thing out of your mouth should say, "How dangerous is it? How much is it going to pay?" Exactly. <laughs> no, tell, tell, uh, go ahead, tell me, finish what it's done for you. I, I'm interested. Well, again, well, again, like, I, like I said, it, it helped improve my acting skills. It got me into a few feature films, despite the fact that most of the feature films have been in had me starring background. That's <laughs> totally fine. Right. And I, and as long as I got a chance, like you know. I'll get out there and experience some of the thing, and some of the things yeah. that, that um, requires, um, you know, being either being in the film or filming in progress in general. The biggest, but the, I gotta say, like the biggest focal point that the Explore Post has helped me broaden was it got me, um, it, it got me closer uh, into martial arts. And in fact, I'm thinking about taking martial arts later on. Cool. And, so, uh, um, uh, where else did it get me out? Oh, it uh, it helped me uh, bond with my buddy Diego more. You know, you know, you know, helped to get you through high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got me through, yeah, got me, yeah, got me through what, high school. What about you, Diego? What has it done for you? Okay, for me, you know, for me, what has really what the Explore Post has really has done for me, you know, for, for and especially for this wonderful t Western town, it's brought it's brought me a, a lot. A lot of good environments, and not just with good, with good environments. You know, also, you know, it's helped me. It's just, it also has helped me. You know, to become, to become, to raise my acting skills and all that. And then, especially having experience with stunts and all that. And then, and then with everything else, you know, I've been, in, I've, you know, you know, been, been helping me as well to become a better actor. Especially for me being, uh, for me being involved in movies out here too. Right. And then, and then everything else, you know, it's, it's brought me. As well, you know, being a happy man around here. So I brought you into your adulthood. Yeah, especially with my adulthood, adulthood, exactly. and then, and then. Um, so what did that? What did we all teach you? I mean, there was several things. Oh, like, oh yeah, like 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 like, in, like a stunt technique in general. Stunt technique. Oh yeah, like we, you know, they, they you, you guys taught us a lot. Like you know, we, like for example, like we we ended up learning from you guys. You know, the, you know the tuck and roll, yeah, the tuck and, and then roll. Yeah, even especially rolling off roofs and all that, yeah, and, then, roof and, roof then, and then and then uh, yeah, and then er and then everything else such as you know the, the fights and stuff, yeah, like chin fights, drops, chin gut drops, shots, gut shots, everything, everything like that, and then. And, then, gun safety? and okay. especially yes. the gun, especially the gun safety with you know with with our with our buddy Mike Williams, you know, you know yeah. who's unfortunately not here, but you know he taught us a lot, and he's the you know he's been you know he's been a great guy to us and all that, and just like all of you all guys are too, right. and 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 then you know uh, and then I'm gonna be honest, you know, as 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 really as really blessed me a lot, you know, like you know with all of you all of you because. Each time, you know, when I when I would hear about you know come coming in, uh, you know, you know that we're gonna have something out here, you know, like you know, such as you know, like a meeting or anything like that, or you especially, you know, making a movie, or even seeing you again, seeing all of you, you again, it got me, it gets me so excited, you know, because it's because you know, we all got excited. We, it gets me so excited, and then other, other than all that, you know, you know, it just brought me, it just brought me really, really great experience, you know. Why did you say that? Because. That was one of the reasons why I built this. I wanted to share it with the people. Yeah. You know, I, to kind of maybe get them to recognize their heritage. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in this 
stay in history. Yeah, history. Has been here for a couple centuries, you yeah. know. And uh, this uh, is just kind of remind them of the hard times maybe their ancestors had to go through to get to where you guys are today. No way. Yeah, it's basically like a, a historical sanctuary, like not just for the history itself, but for the people that come here to stretch their legs, get a deep breath of fresh air, and to learn what it was like back then. Because, yeah. because like- It's a house of artifacts. That's where the museum part comes from. Yeah, exactly, it houses, exactly. It houses artifacts of an era. Yeah, and each artifact has a story. It tells a story of its origin, why it was made in the first place, what it represents, everything. That's that's why I that's why we need museums like these. It helps us learn more about ourselves. It does it doesn't just teach us more about our ancestors and the land and what and what it um, how bad it was. No, it teaches us where you come from. Yeah, where we yeah. came from, how harsh it was. Right. And it's very important now because there are people trying to shut it down and trying to get people yes. to forget yeah. this part of our culture. Exactly. Like I will never forget like this part of my, this part of the like um, North American culture because, because it's, it's basically what you would call um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Pure blood, grit. I guess that's. I guess that's. Saying, I don't know. It is now. Yeah, it is, it is now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a dictionary. Ding, ding, ding. I think what you're saying, honey, is the thing about the Western itself is it does something when people watch it, most people, not all, but the majority of people I've ever talked to, what they like about a Western is it kind of gets them on a visceral level. Yeah. And, it, and that's where the difference lies. Yeah, exactly. It, um, it shows, like, the ins and the outs, everything it shows. It had it shows two sides of the same coin. Like westerns of today, I, I like I like um historical, full fictional period pieces. Like a, like a say for example Jesse James, Billy the Kid. Yes, exactly. They're like kind of a legend, but they're fact. They're 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 legend, but they're they're, they're historical legends, but they're fictional as right. well. Right. Some fictions. stories were real. <laughs> like for like for example, like um Old Henry. That was the story of uh, Billy the Kid. That's a rap. Yeah, well, story. It's a good quotes. movie. Good movie. Yeah. Um, it actually shows is like what would happen if Billy the Kid never really got shot. Uh, like, what would he be? He would he have a kid? And he'd be going movie. by Brusher Bill Roberts. He'd be li living in yeah. Texas, trying to talk to government. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and that, that was basically <laughs> when I come to find out he was a fake. <laughs> 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 that would be that. That would be a really really good story. Right what there. I get from Westerns is uh, love, hate. Uh, most of the, the Westerns you watch is it was around family. Um, like you said, hate, love, survival, survival, yeah. survival. right? In a, in a certain period of time, because uh, from the, from from a man first step foot on earth, that's all he has been doing is to survive. Yeah, and yeah. we learn those skills from our ancestors. And his, we have it so easy today. If you took somebody out of the 1800s and stuck them in there, so he easy. wouldn't know what to do. He would be freaking out. A, a, a movie. He'd look at a computer and think it was a movie. You know, or, exactly. Uh, we're talking on a phone with no line. Exactly. We're driving cars yeah. and not riding horses. <laughs> And we've lost something with all of that. And you go to the exactly. store to buy your meat, and eggs, potatoes, and you know, instead of farming for it. Yeah. For it. Yeah. And you don't have to hide behind every rock because you think you might get attacked by Indians or bandits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like I said, it shows two sides of the same coin. Like you said, love yeah. and hate. Yeah. And now, that's what I get from westerns. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. That, right, definitely. And like I never really got that from what. That from westerns initially but now that you pointed that out i'm definitely gonna, gonna need to watch way more westerns just to get that feel right just to get it you know people in westerns you see them like okay just an example uh husband gets in trouble he's on the run and the wife he's trying to protect him you know and then uh back then the law was sometimes lenient depending on your crime um you know they probably let you go or but today uh you have to prove yourself innocent. You're, you're, you're guilty until you can prove yourself innocent. 
Yeah, it's uh, yeah, like if you're innocent until proven guilty, you're guilty until proven innocent. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, like it, it's like like we said, two sides of the same coin. Uh, one Jay, thing you, about you, the you you can say uh, most of the time. I'm I'm gonna shut up. About you, you do some talking for a while. Yeah, you want to do some talking for a while? Sure. I mean, you know, I mean, what what I really like to add what about, about this place, as I was saying a little while ago. Um, is that you know like I like I say again I mean I've been very blessed to have you guys have all of you in my life you know especially you know you know getting my acting skills done out here and not only just that but everything else everything else I've been really uh, I've been really blessed with you know with all of you especially being in being in films one one time out here when, you know when, when you know when I got beat up in the saloon <laughs> in the saloon and all that and then one of my films and. And uh, you know, I had, I had a super fun time. And then, and even to this day, I still embrace it. And then, and then, and then to add one more thing to it about it, I look forward for the future. You know, to be in more Western films or whatever. What do you do? You know, because uh, it's been my obviously it's been my passion for a long time. Yeah. But it does bring joy to me too. Yeah. You know, and just building it was fun. You know, you created something with your hands. You, oh yeah, I did that, and it's just good, an awesome feeling. Best. And then you want to share it. You're like, oh, look what I did. Heck, you know. <laughs> you want to, and then they get sucked into your little, yeah. your little circle. And then they're enjoying it, too. Oh, yeah, they are. But here, guys, you can you can do anything you want. You just set a goal that sets your mind to it. And don't listen to what other people tell you. A lot of times they'll tell you something because they're jealous. That you're ahead of them and they're not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? So don't let people talk you out of your dreams. Continue on. Do the best you can. You know? And it'll happen. I was determined to have a place of my own that I could build something from my heart and from my dreams, and I made it happen. And you can too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't do it, no matter what your condition is or handicap. Because mm -hmm. obviously I have a handicap too. All right. But yeah, stick with your guns. Uh, do yeah. something nice every right. day. Try not to get too much in, on your plate. Yeah. You're growing up, okay, and there's so many things you want to do, but just take it one step at a time and keep your focus on your dream. Do you want to be a millionaire? Okay, find ways to be a millionaire. And here's another thing my dad always used to tell me. You want to be successful? Hang around successful people. They'll tell you how they got where they are. Mm -hmm. You hang around with the bums of drug addicts, that's all you're going to get from them. Nothing but how to live on the streets, and that's no way to live, you know. <clears throat> so you want to be productive? Hang around with people that are productive. I'm a productive person. Yeah. Want to learn a skill? Come with me. Yeah, so they... always think about it that way. My dad was a pretty smart guy, you know. Yeah. And think about you. Think about uh, what I want to say here. Uh, when you're making a decision, think about the pros and the cons. What is it going to help me here? And what's it going to do for me over here? That help you make your decision. And some of them might not be the right ones, but you will never know until you try them if they're going to work or not. You know what I mean? uh, any more questions there, Mr. Lawrence? Uh, Let's get JC guess, into this, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, uh, JC, uh, what was the most difficult and painful process? when it came to teaching me and Diego stunts, other than the fact that we had, a, that I was the one who had a hard time learning how to Tuck sell the ch 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 tuck and roll. <laughs> oh my God. All of them. <laughs> Most of them. So Diego got him down pat. Diego got him down pat. I I basically had trouble with whole, with selling Just a lot. because I had to do it so many times because he had. Well, you started young too. So you were trained yeah. to do it, and then when you're training somebody, it's kind of hard to explain to them mm -hmm. yeah, how to do so. it. You know, you can show them how to die, that doesn't mean they're doing it right every, I mean, it just, yeah, it has to be with inside you to want to do it. You yeah. gotta get away yeah. from that fear factor. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And that stunt has to be the only thing on your mind. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like, I, believe, I believe it was Bruce Lee that said, I don't fear a man that has practiced 1,000 kicks, but I do fear a man that has practiced one kick one thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So Great. those stunts yeah. are basically. Uh, oh, I left you hanging, fist bump. <laughs> so basically, those. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
it can leave you hanging. Um, <laughs> so basically, those stunts are like the the one thousand kick practice. Yeah. As, and slaughter line. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you know, we we had, we've had it, what they weren't problems. It was just uh, something different that I wasn't used to, and that was your autism and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, teaching you guys. Uh, was kind of difficult at first because uh, I didn't know how to explain to you how I wanted you to do it, and you still have the, the ability to want to do it. Yeah. So yeah. getting you to understand that it was okay to do that, I think that was kind of the hardest because you were questioning yourselves, well, can I do that or not? You know. So yeah, I thought you encourage you. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that that was kind of like because I've never been around people that have autism or ADAD, what do they call it? ADHD. Yeah. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, or bipolar. Mm -hmm. So it was a good experience for me too, because I had to, I'm, I'm in a total different environment. I'm not with just, I wouldn't say a regular person, because we're all regular in some way. We just sometimes have our disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so yeah, it was kind of a little challenge to how to approach you guys to make it interesting and, yeah. and have faith in yourself. and. Yeah, and and the th uh, one big thing that I will say I did learn from, like like a lot of our mentors here from this place, from you, JC, and Mike even, was um, <clears throat> the fact that he was actually picking up uh, picking up off of more more of the, the words that were being told to him. Me, I picked up I picked up in like small little increments, and I kept on beating myself down. Right. And when I should have been following his lead the entire time and so that I could be in sync. And I beat myself up like so much. That's like, and that was like the biggest negative thing, thing I could have ever done and that's not what I wanted to bring to the table. But one thing that that Mike said that really stuck with me was that if you, if you call the thing that you're born with a disability, you will start to believe it. And you will, and you yourself will truly be disabled. It, for it is not a disability; it is a difference. Yeah. And, and me and Diego, we Diego hold. And I. And Diego and I. And I. <laughs> yeah, and I. <laughs> gotta get some laughs in here. <laughs> Diego and I held true to that, and Diego especially, he, he's held true to it mostly. And I've and I have struggled so hard to, hard to hold true to the hold true to that word. And you know, just recently, I just started. Started getting my uh, my main channel. I don't know, no, not not for educational purposes. That one's for entertainment purposes. You come here for education, people. We're not selling that channel right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yep, this is the Ask It Boys. And you, I guess what I want to say is that um, we all had like, it, I guess it doesn't matter how, like the older you become, you you still never start stop learning about people. Absolutely correct. Yes. Yeah. Is that like like JC? He had even he had to learn. Uh, think the thing about us, as, like as we, we were going along, he was trying, like, because he like he tried to like explain how the chin drop worked. I, I of course tried my best, no matter how many times I'm so try, would just never hit that pocket right. Well, Lauren, some of this stuff is not for everyone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Some catch on quick, some others. others don't. So don't beat yourself up because you did not, you don't felt that you did so well. I think you did a great job. You tried. You did yeah. not say oh, I don't want to do it. About it. You actually tried it, then made your decision whether you liked it or not. Yeah. And you should do that through your whole life. Just, just not just, you know, from, but use this as an experience. Yeah, and one of the biggest is upsides, which is uh, upside and downsides. That's autism. Is like, I mean, I say that this, this is both an upside and a downside, is that we have a lot of aspirations. Like, a lot. The reason why it's an upside is because we feel like It'll do us some good, like say for, and the biggest downside is getting getting start either getting started or having a hard time figuring out which one of those aspirations we want, we want to do. Like I've always wanted to go into martial arts, arts. I'm like trying to get into like um, MMA and whatnot. You know, to see if I can uh, be accustomed to that. I have a suggestion to make. Mm -hmm. That man is skilled in martial arts. Why don't you two work together? Teach, let Diego teach what he knows. Mm -hmm. You guys could become a pretty good team. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's where it starts. Then, if you want to take it another step up, what did I tell you to do? Go learn another different type of skill. Yeah. Master it. <laughs> Move to another. That's what made Bruce Lee so famous. 
Did that he did not know one skill. No, he knew several so that when he fought his opponent, he yeah. could fight him on fair ground. He knew the skill that that man had too yeah. because he learned it. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest you two, you want to get into martial arts real bad, get together, go to each other's backyards and tell yourself, I'm going to work an hour out today. <laughs> no stopping, no playing. Do your hour and do it consistently and you'll be surprised how much you will learn, how much you will learn, because you'll be, both be getting better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, then take it another step level up higher. Yeah, man, maybe where you want to go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Actually, see, if this is why, this is why these two who are the best mentors. Ah, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> well, just that in we, our lives. We, we're growing up. You know, we did that before. We, we went down that road. Yeah, yeah, one of these days, me, I, I hope hope that I reach reach that level someday. I hope I get to learn more later on in the future than um, the amount I'm learning, I am learning now. Right. Uh, and for me, I feel like Diego, like Diego, Diego, if I can be very personal, I feel like you have learned, learned way more as the man you are today than I have. And I, and I, and that is like a big motivation. I, Asian, these, these two have learned more than and then you and I have in the span of but you will decades. You will and, yes, that. exactly. And so, and so will we. And that's just, that's another big downside. We, as with autism, is we we want to learn more like immediately. We don't remember. want to wait. Remember right. exactly. Yeah. We have to, but we have to remember. We have to come across these things to learn more about them. Yeah. And, and the older we, we get, do that by learning and respecting your elders. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's. Now, well, I got something I want to say. Uh, when I grew up in high school, a lot of my friends were doing this kind of stuff. The generation today has no idea how one of those work. I, I don't even know how one of those work. Uh, but, now, right. but, now, but now I do, a little bit. <laughs> right. And I have seen the changes over the years from what we did at your age. At your age, I, was, I think I was pumping gas for a job. Car pulled in, you check the oil, wipe the windshield, you pump the gas, you collect the money, and the next customer comes in. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Back when gas stations had Yeah. yeah. Full service is a thing of the past. That's what you did. <laughs> you Full service, to it's trade. a thing of the past. <laughs> it's a relic now. So I was, I'm surprised <laughs> yeah, sure. yep. that you want to learn this. Yeah. Because this is a fun, uh, it's a hobby to me. But it's, it's a good learning experience because here's, here's the, 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 the pros on this. You have a car, you have a flat tire. You want to know how to change that tire. Because if you call somebody else, it'll cost you a lot. When you find out how simple it was. The same with oil changes, tune-ups. I learned all that when I had a car because I did not have the money to pay somebody else to fix the work. So you guys are actually developing your skills as you grow older because there's nothing wrong with you learning how to check the oil the water every person owns a vehicle should know that anyway yeah women there's a lot of women out there that do the same thing mm -hmm. they drive fast cars they work on them they get real greasy but yes yeah, it's a good skill to learn like i said so i'm honored to teach you guys this and we're and hey, we're honored to learn this skill. Yeah, I thought you all did a really good job naming off the parts because that's the first thing you yeah. got to learn. What As is best what, we could, right? Yeah, exactly what is what. As you were helping each other, because I <laughs> once I went through it a couple of times, I walked away and I I could hear you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was trying to like help him help help him out because he was like having a hard time and yeah. like listing them off. Uh, but hey, you'll get it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah you'll get it. Well, maybe the next episode we should we should. We should Take, take a head off or something and look at you know, cylinders and see what the pistons look like. Oh, that would be cool. That's easy to do because that's ready to be rebuilt anyway. And you just yeah. take a couple of bolts. And... Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, you need to know how they work inside too. Yeah. It's pretty simple when you, when you see it. It's very you know, imperative that you know the, the inner workings of your car engine because if you don't, what happens if that car <laughs> engine stalls in the middle of the highway or a desert? You're right. You're not you know, exactly. a car shit. Because yeah. there are a lot of things mm -hmm. go wrong. Fuel pump, coil could go bad, carburetor could go bad, fan belt could be broke. You know? Yeah. Huh? 
There's a question. What do the two of you see for the Western filming going yeah, forward? Because a lot of people are try still trying to say the Western is dead, but every time it seems to die, it comes back. I don't think so. I don't think I don't so either. Yeah. 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 I, Have you seen? I think it's been all these independents is what got this thing fired up again. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at Travis Mills. 12 Westerns, 12 months. Nobody ever think he could do that. Is it 12 months, 12 months? Yeah. Good on him. And he did it. Good for him. Yeah. Personally, I believe that, that people saying that the Western is dead, that's a lot of uh, spoiled bull meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, gentlemen, it's an opinion you do, you do not share. Let's be political. Your generation <laughs> that makes sure it happens. You've yeah. got to teach the young generation because now they're still growing up talking on their phones, not going mm -hmm. to school, can't live without their phones. I mean, even me, I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. I've set my phone down the other day, forgot where I put it. Boy, was I just, where's that phone? It's Call like, my phone, where's that phone? It's I was freaking problem. out. I was freaking out, I was so addicted to it. I gotta see what's going on Facebook. Where's my phone? Yeah. My God. Yeah. You guys don't even know when you're hanging on. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like, um, it's, what's, it's like an electromagnetic compulsive addiction. Right. Almost. And mm -hmm. I am, I, I'm heavily guilty of this. As hello. <laughs> but I've actually found myself like slowly inching away from the whole social media, uh, um, super debacle. Good for you. <laughs> yes. Because it here's. Suck you in, man. Exactly. It's not, but it's not just that. It's a lot darker than that. It's the fact that social media, it's like a, a web. Mm -hmm. And it requires you to behave a certain way. Yeah. And Like, let's take away your free speech. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you say... Yeah. You, you, I tell you what to do. You don't have to dictate. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yep. Hey, why don't we wrap it up? Do your little... Your, your little dude thing. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, uh, we're already run, running out of time. So, so yeah. Rick Parker, <laughs> JC Levin, thank you so much for joining us for, for our first episode of the Ask Me Boys. Even though, uh, even though my camera battery is dead, it's okay. We it was around. fun. It was fun. It was a very great and getting you guys on board and, and Diego don't knock the phones they can come in oh, handy yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go quiet again please say something because it's because your silence is killing me I'm not trying to be silent I mean I'm, 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 I'm understanding everything what you're saying Bob you know, what hey we guys why don't you do that what is that what are you guys called the Aspie Boys the Aspie yes. Boys yes and so and so oh not bad for the first episode huh not bad for the first episode yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah so I'm Lawrence and I'm Diego and we are the, the Aspie, Aspie Boys, Boys. And stay tuned for the ne uh, for next week's autistic news. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. All right. Can I get some? How's it going, YouTube? What you just saw was the first episode of The Aspie Boys featuring me and my best friend, Diego. This has been a bit of a passion project of ours that we have been trying to get out there for a while now. And personally, considering the fact that um, it's, you know, I'm usually the one that has to do the filming and the editing. I have been dragging my feet on this for quite some time. I'm not going to give myself any excuses. It's because, yeah, this this review, this, this interview needed to be... It, it needed to be done sooner than, than it was. Because this video is... This video was taken months ago. But enough of the negatives. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. There will be more interviews as well as, well, autistic news in the future. As far as um, these interviews go, don't worry. We're gonna have um, we're gonna have a much better script. Everything's gonna be written down. Everything's gonna be set up perfectly. And eventually, down the road, hopefully, we'll be able to learn a few things about you know our our difference. Because if you ask me and Diego what it's like being autistic or what it's like living with autism. The only thing we can tell you is we're autistic and we live with it. And I guess it it feels just as normal as anyone else's mind. So yeah, we can't necessarily tell you what autism is. Which is why me and my brother are going to traverse all over the internet, traverse all over the states, if, if we can, 
if we ever get to that point, trying to figure out what causes autism and what it is like truly for us. So hope you all enjoyed that and we shall see you next time. Peace.